Hi everyone, welcome back to Tarsus Academy. Today we'll be looking at a study by Steinitz, the first world champion. And here it's white to play and win. And you can see that white has a bishop and these two passed pawns. So I'll give you like a couple of seconds to try to think and pause the video. You can tr try to um, solve this on an actual chessboard and you can take as much time as you need. So I'll just give you a few seconds if you want to pause the video and do anything like that. Okay, so the first move is h7. And now black's king has to go to g7 because if it goes to e8, bishop f6 is checkmate. And so it has to go to g7. Now we promote to a queen. They take, and now we go king f7. So if they go rook h4, we would just go g7, queen, and then queen g6 mate. But after king f7, they go rook f1, check. Bishop f6, now they have to take because the king has no moves. We take king j, now g7, and this is a winning pawn end game because after king h7, we go king f7, we promote. And a nice way of doing this is here, instead of just checking immediately and letting the king escape, you can pull this h4 square, and now the king has to go back, and this is just checkmate. So I hope you like the study, and what studies do you think we should do in the future? Thanks for watching. Bye.